Hey there and welcome back to By the Poolside and more specifically welcome back to another episode of Foxhole. Today we are talking about the Siege of Inari base that occurred on January the 14th. But before we talk about this plan, we need to go down here to base at home. And the reason this is important is because the Wardens were launching a massive offensive right here. So all their attention was currently on this area and this was... This had their attention for about a day or two at this point, so it was a big battle. The plan was, with all the warden attention going on down here in Basin Home, we were going to launch an offensive on Anari base. And the way we were going to start that out is we were going to use this border base and dig a massive trench all the way out to here. We would then use that trench to launch small attacks on Anari base until we got mortars. Once we got mortars, we would use them to destroy the warden defenses along this front and then do mammon rushes from this trench into Anari base to take the relic base. Uh, the another perk with this trench was cutting off any Lodgy that came from here. It was unlikely much would come from there, but there was still a chance of it. As I said in the plan, we all grabbed our shovels and we started digging this trench. Now, while we were doing this, we were careful to not present ourselves as a large force. That way we didn't get any type of QRF response to our initial phases of the plan. Oh, okay, that is such an insanely long trench. It's so funny. <laughs> Have you made it to the end yet? <laughs> no, I'm looking at it with binos and I can't see the end of it. Yeah, we're at the road. Oh my god, it's so long, man. That's fucking hilarious. Our Lodgy guys did an incredible job during this entire operation. And right when the trench reached the road, we received these orders. <laughs> Everybody get to the bob, get yourselves a mortar tube, and start filling your inventory with HE shells. And with that, we grabbed our mortars, we grabbed the ammo, and we began one of the largest Wait, and most coordinated oh, bombardments I had ever seen in Foxhole. Fire. Oh, nice. fire. Fire. <laughs> what the? Fire. fire. Send it. We'll, we'll stand Line up back here around. and max range 250. Line up in the back right here. Fire. 16. Any more shells? Okay. This was the moment that we had gained the attention of the 82DK response force. And it all started with this heckin' warden and the gas grenade of his life. Yeah, just scavenge some mortar tubes if you're alive, guys. Yeah, that was a good Uh, it's alright for now, don't worry. We just need to scavenge all these tubes. Thank you. On me, on me, on me! Line up on me. Line up on me, guys. We're gonna go, uh, get ready and we're gonna bail up over this, uh, over this, um, what's it called? Fucking barbed wire. We're gonna go and rush their husks. We're just gonna hold in their husks, okay? Uh, should we charge that other trench? No, private right. Is that a bad idea? Everybody get PJ, ready. PJ, get somebody ready. somebody, somebody get ready to blow a whistle so we all Could go over Could you get this so I can see you easy? Alright, All right, someone we'll blow a whistle. Somebody. Let's go, guys. We're charging over now. Three, two, one. Go, 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 go. No, they're not. Oh, shit. Go, 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 go. Oh, no, this is not an idea. Oh, uh... oh, no. We yes. began the charges into the no man's land that laid between our trenches and the warden's base to try to gain even an inch of ground. But to the warden's credit, they dealt with everything swiftly and well. Until we got this message. I wasn't blocking anything. Oh my god. With the ISG unlocked, and arriving to the battlefield, we were able to quickly and effectively respond to any warden armor that was sent to us and deal with any AI that were left after the mortar barrages. The battlefield changed from a snowy tundra with a couple skirmishes in it 
to all-out warfare in a wasteland. Unlocking ISGs did not mean we immediately just won this battle. It took an additional hour of just hammering this base and trying to defeat the Wardens to eventually break through. It took a lot of rushes like this one and a lot of countering partisan action where they were cutting off our supply lines. Yeah, they are. Are we hitting the relic? Yeah, we should really. We have people inside. Yeah, we do have third people inside. Yeah, they're all just right on the left side of the road. Killing them all. Killing them all. Sorry. No, you're good, you're good. Yeah, we're good. We're good. We're good. Keep him gas out. We need to keep gas in the backside. It's the most important thing we can do right now. That three thirty or three percent? Thirty-seven percent. Thirty-seven percent. Gas is too hard. Grab a mammon if you're going up as well, guys. There's nobody repairing. Nobody repairing. Left gas them. Keep hitting it. Nobody's repairing it. All builders are dead. All builders are dead currently. It's dead. It's dead. Oh my god. Oh my god. Yes. There we go. Get us. I'll get a CV up. Oh. Get Look at the F. Look at the Fs, boys. I got the CV. I got the CV. I'm coming up right now. Yeah. All right, let's start pushing south. Finally. That's the most. Ass after that's nearly that's four that's hours that's of that's fighting. That's we broke through, gassed out the relic, and destroyed it. Although we had a victory that day, it is worth noting that currently, the Wardens have retaken Inasa base and hold it. Alright everyone, that is going to do us for the Siege of Inasa base. Remember to leave a like, comment, subscribe. I plan on making a video like this once every week, so come back for more and uh, have a good day. Bye. Some other dudes are doing a mortar.